everyone, how are you doing? I hope you had a great weekend. So today is a different video for our channel. This is kind of, I guess, the start of a new series I'm going to do. I hope you find it interesting. But lately I've just be, been feeling like super like overwhelmed with my makeup collection. I feel like I just have so much in, in my subscription boxes, just like keep bringing in new items. And I try things and then they kind of get like put in the back of my Alex drawers. So I really want to start like using more of my collection. Like what I really want to do is like declutter some things, but honestly I don't have a good enough opinion on a lot of things to know whether or not I want to keep them. So what I'm going to do uh, today is, well one, I'm going to show you my vanity uh, disclaimer. This, it's not like super organized. Uh, this is like pre-declutter and organization, so it's not super pretty, um, but I'm gonna show you real life. Um, yesterday I did like organize two drawers just cause there was less in those two sections. So it was a little bit easier, uh, but otherwise nothing um, has been organized. And then I'm gonna choose some items. So I'm gonna shop my stash and use those for the next two weeks and then see whether or not I wanna keep them. And maybe I'll even find some like new favorites along the way. So almost all of my collection is from subscription boxes. I would say, it has to be more than 75%. Maybe one day I'll like go through it and figure that out. Um, maybe even closer to like 90%. Like I've been getting subscription boxes and like beauty boxes for years now. Uh, so hopefully you guys find this interesting. I bet a lot of you, if you're also getting subscription boxes or if you have for a long time like me, you probably have a lot of these items as well. So uh, maybe this will remind you of some items you have and you can start using them. So yeah, I'm just gonna go drawer by drawer and pick a few things from each section to focus on the next two weeks. So let's get started. All right, so I turn my chair around. Here is the top of my vanity behind where I sit. So I just have my elephant planter there, which I find so cute. Uh, I got as a gift for my aunt uh, for my birthday in May. A candle, which I just burnt myself on, by the way, by like light. Little calendar, some makeup brushes that desperately need to be cleaned, and then I didn't know where else to put them, so there are some setting sprays, but we'll um, do that last probably. Uh, so let's start with this drawer. So I do have the Alex drawers, um, so it's two sets of five. So my drawers aren't in like super specific order, but this is my foundation drawer. Sorry, you can like see my light right now. Um, this is my foundation drawer, so. Yeah, these drawers don't come all the way out, which is kind of annoying. I also have my concealers in here. So for concealer, I have been working on um, my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer uh, for my Project Pan. I'm trying to use up uh, my non-cruelty-free items. So I'm going to pull that one out. Um, and that one's really light, and I only use it like under my eyes. So I'm going to grab another one if I feel like I need to cover up any blemishes. Uh, and I think I'm going to go with this Wander Beauty one. Uh, and this, what one is this? I got in Fair and Light, and honestly, they seem pretty similar. Uh, sorry if these aren't, is not focusing well. So like one size of liquid and one size of matte stick. So I will grab that. And that is plenty. Um, so I put stickers on items that I consider now to be cruelty free. So I can kind of use those up. It's kind of funny because they're like, little vegetable stickers. <laughs> I was like, oh, did you label your um, vegan items? I'm like, no, it's quite the opposite, actually. Um, for, fo for foundations, one thing I'm going to grab is my um, Kosas, this tinted face oil. I haven't used it yet, and I told you guys I was going to do like a wear test and stuff like that. Um, by the way, I posted my first wear test today of the Pat McGrath Lands one, if you guys missed that. Um, so yeah, I'm doing more makeup related content if you haven't been able to notice. I hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, I haven't tried this yet and I want to. I have this in, I don't know, where is it saying? Oh. This is in 02. I couldn't tell on the camera. Okay, there it goes. So I'll grab that. And then what else should I grab? I think I might grab this. I honestly don't love it. I feel like so many people rave about this in Fillable Pro Glow. Um, so this isn't cruelty free and I want to use it up. So I'm going to grab this one. And then do you think that's enough? I mean, I, yeah, I'll just grab those for now. Um, and then I can reach in here. Uh, so a lot of these, maybe I should grab something else. I haven't even used a lot of these in a while and they're probably going bad. Like, I don't even know what I think about this body shop one. I've never even heard anyone talk about it. Or this Bare Minerals. I haven't used that in like a year. I love my Wander Beauty. These ones, like the CYO, um, they're out of my shade and like, 
I heard the Taylor talking about it for so long and I really wanted to try it out. So I'm, I'm gonna use that for a mixer, I think. I um, This one's a weird color for my lower gallery, but yeah, so. Yeah, I'll just grab those for now, but I wanna focus on these. Maybe I'll grab one of these. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this too. Cause I wear foundation every day and I'll be doing this for two weeks. And then I, this is my first time. So I'll go from here and see what I think. So next drawer um, I have is my primers. All right, so I have a lot of primers um, here. So uh, this one by Becca, this is actually an under eye primer I use every day. I just didn't know where else to put it. So I put it in here. I also have some powders. Um, I'll start with powders because I know what I'm going to grab. I am currently working on using up this Derma Blend uh, powder, the loose setting powder for my project pan. It's pretty much gone, so I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab everything for my project pan, by the way. Um, and then for primers, what should I use? So I put like my mini ones back here and then the rest up front. I never use my primer water. I have two of them now, so I'm gonna grab this. I, I mean, it looks like I've used it. I've had it for a long time, but I think I used to use it more for like wetting my sponge and stuff like that. So I'm gonna grab this one. And then, I haven't used this in a while, so I'll use this. This is like a, the Becca primer. What is it, the Becca First Light Priming Filter? So I haven't used this in a while, so I'll grab this. Um, yeah, so those are all my primers. My next drawer, um, I have blushes and then like face palettes. So let's see. I should have probably like thought about this before I opened all my drawers and like showed you guys, but okay. So this Laura Geller one, um, Baked Bronze and Brighton and Medium. I don't know. This seems like it's old. I don't even remember the last time I tried it. Um, let's see if I can get this open hard doing things with one hand. <laughs> so it's like blush and bronze. I don't know what I think of this. So I'm gonna grab this one and I think I've had this for a while. I got it in like a super old boxy charm, I believe. And then I just got this in my Ipsy and I wanna try this more. So this is Pacifica. This has both a blush and a bronzer in it. So I'm going to grab this as well. My other two drawers here don't have makeup or anything. One is just like all hair products. And the one under here, I just keep like my headbands and then all the bags I get, like all the Ipsy bags, the Lure bags, all of that, those are down here as well. So now we'll move on to the other side. Here is are my plants. Uh, so I talk about how my cats eat everything all the time. You can now see, so. Yeah, some plants and then, oh my god, you guys, my lipstick collection's out of control. I'll do that after the drawers. And I just have like some notepads and stuff like that. And then you can see like the palm tree I sometimes talk about right here. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see. What is in this one? I think these are my highlighters. Yep, so this is my highlight drawer. And then I also have um, my bronzers in the back there. So what should I grab for highlighters? I generally gravitate towards my Ofra highlighters, but I feel like I should get something or use something different. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to use these ColourPop ones. Guilty Pleasure. Okay, I'll grab this. I have no idea. I think I swatched it. It looks like I did, but I don't remember anything about it. And then I've never used this for Sally one I got in my, um, Limited, edi limited edition BoxyCharm skincare box. So I'm gonna grab this as well. And for bronzers, I'll grab this. I haven't used this before. This is, the, I got this in the Petit Boire, which I'm actually opening the July box after I film this, um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, this is the K-Voss bronzing potion. So I haven't used this yet and I wanna try it out. So I'll grab this as well. And then we also have that bronzer from the Pacifica um, Duo. My next drawer is kind of all over the place, it's like eye products. In the back I have like eyelashes, which clearly I like never use. And then in the front I have brow products. Here are mascaras, uh, and then I have like a tool. And then I have a bunch of eyeliners, and I don't use eyeliner too much. I might grab them. And then this is like a makeup cleaning thing by 
tulip I should use more so for mascaras I'm gonna grab the two that are open that I've been working on the Wander Beauty Mile High Club and uh, what is this the El Maquillage one so since those are open I want to finish those up for brow products this is in my project pan the benefit gimme brow so I'm gonna grab this and then I want a pencil too I might grab the one I've been working on. This is the um, Billion Dollar Brows, the Mini Universal Brow Pencil. So I'm gonna grab this. And then I think I'll grab two eyeliners and maybe try and use them. So let's see. I think I'll grab this Laura Geller, the incredible waterproof eye gel pencil in Brown Eyed Girl. And then this blue one. I think blue looks cool on the lower lash line. Got this in the boxy charm right the bodyography midnight blue so I'll grab these hopefully use them and uh, we'll pass on lashes right now even though I should really try them out okay now my palette drawer is so not organized I actually have like two drawers that have eyeshadow so these are like palettes in the back there's like mini palettes and like some tart palettes and then underneath it I have like single shadows and stuff and like glitters and, like a mini palette I guess. So I have some like ColourPop, Natasha Denona, the Dose of Colors ones I've really been enjoying. Oh and then I have those eye patch things, um, they're not eye patch, what would you call them? They're like supposed to lift up your like hooded eye so I need to try those in a video like I promised. Um, I also have my Z palette that has some singles in it, it looks like there's like some eye primer in the back over there by Ofra. So, I don't know what am I doing. I think I'll grab like two palettes, like a neutral and a colorful. One I was thinking about grabbing was my Riviera palette by ABH. I haven't used that in a while. So I'll grab this. Um, I haven't worn like super bright colors in a while, so I'll grab that. And then what else should I grab? Hmm. It's hard to even tell what's in here, you know? this recently. People rave about this one. So I'll grab this as well. Is this kind of fall? I feel like we got this though recently so it shouldn't be considered a fall pale but I don't know what reminds me of it. So yeah. So I'll grab these two palettes. And then what should I grab from here? Should I grab like a glitter or something? I never use them. Yeah, I'm gonna grab these casual ones. I like use them once or twice and then forgot about them. So yeah, so pretty much I'm just like grabbing random things. Uh, oh, and then this drawer is where I keep my like giveaway prizes. Sneak peek. Uh, I wanna see Archer. It's so messy in here, but there's Archer. <laughs> All right, now on to my like insane collection of lip products. Like, let's like move this out of the way for a second. Like I have this little thing here. It's like my bullet lipsticks on top and then I have like some liquid lips and then a bunch of glosses. Some like lip pencils. I don't even know. So much stuff. And then this mess. Like I was going to put it away but I'm like I don't even know what to do. These are more like newer products I've gotten. Um, like I know I just tried this one I got in Boxy Charm. Alright so I'm just going to like pick blindly I think like. Let's see, what does this look like? It's so hard to do things with one hand. <laughs> okay, I'll try this one by Christopher Buckle. I remember liking this. This is from a, a past boxy charm. And then, gosh, what else? Should I get like a gloss? Just this Ellie Splash. What's wrong, Archer? And then let's get like a liquid lip. <laughs> this is not going to make any sense, but I, I, I'll get better as we go on. What are you doing over there, Archer? He's climbing over my subscription boxes I've opened that I have to put away. Um, I might grab this, like by who she who should not be named, or how do I say that? She who should not be named, uh, because I probably want to use it up. And I think I liked this color. I got this liquid lip in a past. Boxy charm. Uh, so yeah, I'll use this as well. 
So here's kind of like my mess of stuff along with over there. So I'm going to put them all in um, this acrylic thing I have and I will be right back to show you. I almost forgot. So for setting spray, I'm going to use my Mac Fix Plus. I'm making good progress. So this is in my project pan and this lip gloss is also in my project pan. So I'm going to grab that. I left it there so I'd remember. So these are like other setting sprays I have. Um, this is just like a facial spray. So yeah, I didn't know where to put those. So I just put those in there for now, even though I'm really only concentrating on this one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put everything in here and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's everything. It kind of seems like a lot of stuff, but yeah, it fit. Um, it might not be like the best for this, but I think it'll work out pretty well. I wasn't, I think I was pulling my foundations in here before, but I like now that I laid them out, you know, it's easier for me to see everything. So yeah, let's leave this on my vanity. And I don't leave my lip products over here, by the way, just because of the sun and everything. I actually put them, um, over here on the shelf so they're not exposed to light but yeah so that is my first ever shop my stash I'm sorry this is way too long um, hopefully you guys enjoyed like seeing my vanity set up and uh, my crazy mess but I'm really excited to start getting working on these things and hopefully decluttering my collection a little bit or finding some stuff I love but anyways thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!